So here's the deal. The one thing I was super excited about the Television Studio HD8 ISO, yeah, it doesn't do it. So I'm actually really surprised no one's talking about this as far as I know. The Television Studio was advertised in their product release as having this one feature that it doesn't actually have, and that's edit while recording. I may have just misheard it, but it was said three times, which got my hopes really up. So let's listen to Grant from Blackmagic and hear what he had to say. Um, it's pretty cool. What's um, exciting about this is it's a whole post-production workflow. You know, while I'm using the switches, someone else can do multicam editing. You can be editing a show and while recording the next episode. You can be editing while you're live. Even after that was said, I was still a little skeptical because I own an edit while ingest system and it's expensive. To think that I would have access to eight growing files, nine growing files, including program, would be mind blowing. And again, I wanted to be sure that I heard that correctly. You can edit while recording. As soon as the product was launched, this is what was on the web page. And it says in post production, let's zoom in on that, it says you can edit while recording. You can edit while recording. That sounded too good to be true. But then he said this. So it's pretty cool. So anyhow, let's stop the recording and have a look at what we just did. It's a whole post production workflow integrated into the switcher. So you could have some people shooting in a studio while other people are editing and doing color correction, um, you know, uh, at the same time. At the same time. But that's actually not really true. So yes, you can have people accessing the network storage on the switcher while you're recording. It just can't be the footage that you're recording. So you see what Grant said in the second clip? So it's pretty cool. So anyhow, let's stop the recording and have a look at what we just did. Once I press stop and we're recording the next episode, you can immediately start editing. That is true. So if you're recording multiple takes and you press stop every time, if I'm on take three, I can edit take two. But if I have a long take, if I have an hour long program and I wanna snip something out of the middle of it while I'm recording, editing while recording, I can't do that until I press stop over here. And that wasn't clear. Now, here's the crazy thing. Blackmagic products can actually do this and you don't need to pay for anything. So it's both a problem and here's the solution. So look at the video over here. This is Blackmagic Media Express. It's the free software that comes with any Ultra Studio card. So I've just got the cheapest card available, little 3G SDI or HDMI capture card. And if I go over here and I press capture, I'm capturing to disk and I think the file is probably just called Untitled One or something right now. I didn't bother naming it. If I go over to Premiere and import that file, here it is, Untitled One, import, and this is the file I'm actually working on right now. You can see the file growing here. It's 627 megabytes. Import that, pull that file into Premiere, and just give it some time here and it will grow. It's accessible as the file is growing, which had me so excited about this switcher and editing while recording. So can it edit while recording? Well, sort of, yes. You have to press stop before you can edit the content that's being recorded. So the workaround here has a couple gotchas. It's not immediate. It's not a true growing file. And it takes a little while. Sometimes it's three to five minutes until that file gets updated. But Media Express will close the file incrementally as you go along. And as soon as that file gets closed with the new marker, it shows up in your editing system. So if you're patient, do, 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 come on. We're just waiting for it to come in, waiting for the files to come in. We're just waiting for the file to update. It's more like three minutes, five minutes. You never really know. If you give it enough time, if we go back to Media Express here. I've been recording for three minutes and 33 seconds. Now I bet when I turn over to Premiere here pretty soon, oh, there it is right there. You see the, uh, it grew and I, can go back in time and now we can play this back. Here it's more like three minutes, five minutes. You never really know, but you give it enough time. Edit while recording. Here. See, I've been recording for three minutes and 33 seconds. There it is. So every three minutes or so it updates and that's awesome. That's so much more useful. So now I can just take the, a section, I can set it in and out and I can get that to the social media team immediately. That's what I was really hoping for. And since I was told three times, I really, really wished it was gonna happen on the switcher. Unfortunately, it doesn't, but hopefully you've learned a workaround. If you do need that sort of workflow, this is like the like cheater method to get it done, but at least we're getting it done. Uh, it is what it is. If you're looking for more live production tips and tricks like what you've seen today, 
check out our website at pavement.media. There we have a full course called The Fundamentals of Live Production, where we teach the fundamentals of live production. Things that everyone needs to know regardless of the equipment that they're using. Things that are applicable to every team of any size. Fundamentals that do not change over time. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. And if you wanna see a free lesson, just go over to our website, sign up for the free lesson, and you can have access to the course immediately. So again, thanks for watching. I'm Carl Larson. I love doing this with you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.